We now know about the working connections. Uh, recent discoveries about the brain have shown that it, it itself is in fact constructed as a, a multi-dimensional, fantastically interlinked and interlaced network. And what we were doing with the words I was explaining to them was making almost patterns of their minds outside their minds. And as it was explained that these images are not just words, and they're not just pictures, and they're not just colors, but they combine all of those things in the same way that the mind links itself with all other parts of itself, that their mind images do the same thing. And that, again, instead of simply putting down some of the words in special standard grammatical order, that they could put down words with pictures, with colors, to get a perfect representation of what was inside their heads. It, uh, it does sound heavy going when one initially starts to explain, but they, in fact, pick it up surprisingly better than adults. Um, their minds work on more levels at once. Uh, as we get trained in kind of standard educational systems, we tend to get directed down particular lines. So certain parts of our mind are literally just left almost in cold or almost dead storage. You just say a word has hooks. What kind of hook does your mind come up with when you have this word and then say this? And so they begin, they understand the, the presentation simply by practicing it, by seeing that it works. And of course the thing is that it's the way their minds do work anyway. The number of connections that the child who thinks he isn't very bright has are almost infinite. And so we get them to ask each other questions. You know, we just say, stand in front of somebody or sit with a friend. And get a clip around the ear and told, you know, pay attention, spell the word. The reason why the child looks away is the thing that has to be investigated. Uh, at, at that age, at an early age, a child has a, a much more visual memory than most adults. Adults tend not to train their visual memories, not so much to train it, they just don't use it. So it gradually gets worse and, and not particularly relevant to their day-to-day -day life. But a child uses it a lot more. So when you ask him to remember a word or to spell a word, he doesn't actually kind of remember the letters and then repeat them. He will often project, actually project, internally, onto a blank space on the wall, the word that he wants to spell. It's in his mind as an image, but he hasn't kind of remembered the letters. He's got the thing actually contained in his mind as an image. So he puts it out on the wall and then reads it. And they've done studies where the, you can actually see the child's eyes moving, movement by movement, letter by letter, to reproduce a word. Now, of course, the teacher clips him around the ear because he thinks he's not paying attention, when in fact the mind is doing this extraordinary piece of manipulative projection image awareness work. So we just kind of talk to them about that kind of thing, including memory. So if you ask them just about things that they know, that proves to them that their memory is working. You say to them, do you remember what happened four weeks ago in school at a football game, something like that? And they remember. And then you point out to them that if they can actually recall that, the apparatus that's doing it must be far better. And then if they say, well, I've got an awful memory or, you know, I'm not very smart, that it's not that they're smart, it's that they're not using the abilities that they've got. You get a child who's bottom of a class going to the top of a class, just like that. Right? Suddenly his mind is let free. At university level it works as well. So in memory, in essay work, in, in diary work, in problem solving, in running meetings, in having kind of group discussions, brainstorming, all these things, these patterns just improve the performance of the child enormously. And it's not so much the patterns, it's the brain behind, which is in a sense being released. It's fairly easy to say in, in relation to all this, well, if it's so obvious, if all these things are obvious, why haven't they been discovered? And I think the